I want to show you a blatant example of idiocy, stupidity, and outright deception by AOL and Fox News. And I know I've said it over and over, and I realize that I believe a at least slight majority of Americans are too stupid to understand what I'm saying right now. I'm using plain English. And most Americans are too stupid to understand what I'm saying. Because they keep watching the news and reading the news and thinking that they're getting factual information. Look at this headline from AOL. Trump kept saying it was basically pretty much a cure. Quote, Woman whose husband died after ingesting chloroquine warns the public not to believe anything that the president says. That is a lie. Her husband died ingesting chloroquine phosphate. Listen closely. That's not the same thing as what President Trump has discussed, which is called hydroxychloroquine sulfate. Listen close. Hydroxychloroquine sulfate is not the same thing as chloroquine phosphate. Hydro or hydroxychloroquine sulfate goes by the name Plaquenil and is approved by the FDA and all your libtard news media people are lying to you and telling you the FDA has not approved hydroxychloroquine sulfate. They're liars. And in the meantime, they're trying to make you believe that this woman and her husband got sick and her husband died for listening to the president. And in their headline, they say the woman ingested chloroquine. That is a lie. Because there's no such thing as chloroquine. It's got to be in one form or the other. And if you take one form and not the other, you get different results. This stuff is so stupid, it's almost hard to even explain because you're not sure how to even put it in terms where people who are that stupid can understand what's being said. The wife of an Arizona man who died after ingesting what? Chloroquine phosphate. To protect himself from the coronavirus? Warned the public on Monday not to, quote, believe anything that the president says, end quote. The president never said the words chloroquine phosphate. He said the words hydroxychloroquine sulfate, which is an FDA-approved drug being used for malaria and other purposes. And if that's what these people had taken, they would not have gotten sick and her husband would not have died. But what does AOL do? Does AOL act like a real news source and explain that this woman's an idiot? No. They just continue quoting her saying, quote, We saw Trump on TV, every channel, and all of his buddies, and that this was safe, end quote. The woman who is in critical care after taking the drug with her husband. Taking the drug? They took aquarium cleaner. 
They took chloroquine phosphate, which is used to kill parasites in aquariums. And AOL is too stupid or dishonest to even explain that. Here's their explanation. This is from AOL. The president has repeatedly touted chloroquine as a very powerful treatment against coronavirus and falsely claimed it was approved by the Food and Drug Administration. End quote. AOL, you're full of crap. The president touted hydroxychloroquine sulfate, not chloroquine phosphate. And he did not falsely claim it was approved by the FDA. And if you, I mean, you're a news organization. You've got the internet. Go to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration website and look up FDA-approved drugs and you will find hydroxychloroquine sulfate. And I could go on and on the AOL uh article is just ridiculously dishonest and stupid. But here, let's go over to Fox News. Fox News reports that an Arizona man has died and his wife is in critical condition after they both took the drug chloroquine phosphate. So they got that much right. Which is an ingredient found in fish tank cleaner. The additive is also found in an anti-malaria medication. No, it is not. Which has been touted as a treatment for coronavirus, despite a lack of study on it or approval by federal health agencies. Did you get that? There's several lies in that comment by Fox News. Who is the author? I want to give credit where it's due. Not everybody at Fox News should be blamed for this writing by David Aro, A-A-R-O. It's probably not even his real name. And it's a good thing he's not using his real name because he'll be known as a liar for the rest of his life. Or he ought to be known as a liar for the rest of his life. I just, chloroquine phosphate is not the same thing as hydroxychloroquine sulfate, and that is what the president talked about. The president did not talk about uh, uh, chloroquine phosphate. I just, that's all I can say, folks. I hope you're smart enough to know. That when Fox News says something, you better check it out. Right here it says there's been a lack of study when there's been two, one by a well-known French uh, physician. There were more than 100 people given a hydroxychloroquine sulfate along with z and they all got better. They're not telling you that the majority of people, almost all the people dying of this disease, coronavirus, are either very elderly or very sick to begin with. Don't trust anything you're being told by the news media. God help us.